in a world that is growing ever more socially conscious, a light has been poured on issues that once dwelled in the recesses of our own ignorance. We can now see, with a greater clarity, some of the social, political, racial, geographical and sexual injustices that our ancestors perpetuated and that our contemporaries continue to perpetuate. Great strides have since been made in making the world a little fairer for those who previously were deprived of the goods that many of us take for granted. And if we wish to uplift the disadvantaged in our society, we must pay keen attention to the issues that they face. We must always be willing to discuss different approaches to redress them. However, while we pay close attention to one thing, invariably, as limited and fallible conscious beings, we let slip from our minds something else. The hallmark of conscious awareness is to illuminate what was once in the dark, to bring into the open what was once concealed, and to regrettably conceal what was once in plain view, to benight what was once in the light. In this manner, Martin Heidegger, in The Origin of Work of Art, defines Dasein, or conscious being, as a matter of letting things be and of clearing Heidegger argues that the supreme human activity is poetry, but that we must see poetry in a broad sense, tracing the etymology of the word poetry to the Greek word poesis, meaning to make or to craft. Poets and artists, therefore, engage in a craft of letting things be and of bringing into the light what was previously concealed, of representing the truth without bending it to their own will. Therefore, the truth is not merely a matter of correspondence between our beliefs as they map onto the world at large, but rather, before we establish propositions about reality, we must first uncover them. Aletheia, therefore, being the ancient Greek word for truth, refers to a deeper sense of truth than the mere correspondence of a proposition to reality, such as when we say that the dog runs free in the park, and point to a dog in the park. First, we must uncover both the dog and the park. Enabling things to unhide themselves is our unique contribution as humans. Heidegger sees conscious being as a sort of clearing, a lich tongue, like an open bright forest glade from which beings can shyly step forward like a deer from the trees, as Sarah Bakewell writes. Consciousness, then, is like an expanse of open space in an otherwise densely packed thicket of trees. A pocket of light in the dark that brings to life whatever steps into its glow. As a wolf's coat coruscates and gleams in the sunlight and fades into the black as the wolf slips into the dark, we help things emerge into the light by being conscious of them and we are conscious of them poetically as we pay respectful attention and allow the world to show itself without bending reality to our will. Our being brings conscious awareness into reality and brings awareness to the particulars of our world. As Carl Sagan once remarked, we are a way for the universe to know itself. However, in philosophy, there is nothing we are more acutely aware of than our own ignorance, as individuals and as a society at large. The light of human consciousness is a glint in the abyss. For any given thing that we pay close attention to, the need for greater financial equality among social classes, the need to represent the experiences of minority groups in mainstream media. It is in this moment, as we shift our focus, that we run the greatest risk of letting what was once in our mind to slip free from it, to let those previously without woe to then suffer. In the pursuit of justice and the truth, we are like someone lost in the dark, equipped with a single torch, as we stumble our way through the dark, illuminating one thing after another, we leave what was once illuminated in the dark, and we leave it behind, what was once our focus, and as we march forward. As soon as we focus on one issue or demographic, we are likely to leave out others that lay beyond our focus. Unlike Heidegger's clearing in the forest, things do not just passively pass by our light, but rather we actively seek to find what is out there. We actively seek to lift up the, the disadvantaged and to curb the excesses of selfish individuals. However, humanity has a tendency to make static what is dynamic. We have a habit of telling ourselves fixed narratives about an ever-changing world. And yet, 
what dwells in the dark is always moving. As Heraclitus says, the only constant is change. In many ways, our ideas and thoughts, the narratives that we construct, are a snapshot of a moving object. A picture that fails to accurately depict the nature of a moving reality. This is the great risk of solely and exclusively focusing on any given narrative. Today we are focused on redressing the injustices of the past, of offering literal and figurative reparations for those that have been greatly disadvantaged in the past. No one can deny that widespread racism has had a terrible effect on ethnic minorities throughout history or that women were seen as a lesser political and intellectual creature. Wrongs that have justly been righted. However, we must curb our zeal and recognise that to keep track of a dynamic world, we must always shift focus. Ignorance, like the dark, is inevitable, and ignorance often plays a role in the unequal and unethical treatment of others. Inequality is often, if not always, inevitable but must only be a fleeting moment of correction as the carpenter reflexively raises one side of a shelf that has slumped in order to level the entire construction. We must continue to champion the rights of the disadvantaged in whatever form it takes. However, we cannot afford to leave behind those that have previously benefited in our society, such as white men who are now slipping behind in education, who are now dropping out of university, who are increasingly leaving the workforce, who are experiencing fatherlessness at unprecedented rates, and who are taking up substance abuse to deal with the weight of their own existence. As soon as we leave anyone behind, we all suffer, male or female, black or white, secular or religious. We must pay close attention to everyone and measure each individual according to a common standard of justice and the good life. We must heed this as a warning, for if you leave anyone in the dark for too long, when you turn back to them, you will find a monster of injustice staring back at you. A monster that can only be banished by the light. If you've liked this video and want to see more videos on how philosophy can help us study society, then please share, subscribe and like the video. Thank you.